came out for the ZBZ, went for an aggressive build, got shut down, and Startail sitting out curious to, to play a ZBZ Amir matchup two games in a row. Symbol is his opponent, and we are going to find out if Azuba actually takes a 3-1 lead here in this match, and if Azuba is able to force out Bomber. Startail started off with a wing. And uh, this is, by the way, um, Patience, not Mad Ball. We're pretty much alike, but it is the, uh, yeah, it is one of the new players, one of the new additions to the Azuba roster. Yep. This former ID was Lucy, who was starting for the Prime team. Yeah. But is now part of Azuba. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of shifting with all these rosters these days. Um, a lot of team shifts going on. So. So he's kind of got to look somebody up because Lucy himself is not a player that was well known. So you're gonna have to go deep, deep into the esports encyclopedia to find those people. Yeah, the problem is that a lot of the players don't really have a profile online where they have a picture. So if you just try to look it up and find out who exactly that is, you oftentimes don't really find a result. And I would really like to see a picture of Lucy next to Mad Bull. I feel they look pretty much, but they look very similar. Could be brothers, but probably when you then see the direct comparisons, like yeah, okay, there's no way. Yeah, like that's usually how it works. But yeah, just to make sure that you guys know what we're talking about a little bit earlier, wondering if it was Madful on the bench of the Zubu, but it is not. It's Nations, one of the new players. He joined together with Seng, Senta and with Nation. Well, here we go, going into Yunsu. Map is up and loaded. Curious, he really needs this win. If he loses here, Sartail is in dire straits. Symbol so far with two wins here. Can he take his second Zerg versus Zerg? This is the GSTL. Sartail versus the Zubu. Starting to the top right, we have for Team Startail. 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 Curious. The third player today is going up against another Zerg player. Starting for Team Azubu at the bottom left of the map. With an early pool, we have Azubu Symbol. Going for a nine pool here. Yeah, nine pool. So. Two uh, aggressive strategies back to back, just the player who's doing them uh, swapped. You know, I actually really like this because I feel that Curious is not going to expect that at all. Like, at least, maybe Curious thinks, okay, might be an earlier pool, but going for a nine pool is definitely a bit more of a commitment. So I feel that this will. This could work. This could very well work. If Curious goes for a hatch first and it looks very much like that's exactly what he's going to do, Symbol is going to be in a really good spot. And that's the case, so let's see how it's going to work with that. Yeah. This is a... Uh, Yunsu is a pretty... It's not super short, but it's a pretty short rush distance, especially because it's just a two-player map. You don't have to guess where your opponent is. So a good choice for the build. Simple, by the way, already won against Curious back in June in a best of one. He took the map, took him out here that was in Heart of the Swarm. So you saw a couple of statistics on uh, board like just a few seconds ago, but that was uh, Wings of Liberty. So uh, this is the heart of the Swarm match that he was able to win. And by now the Zerglings have been revealed, so now he knows exactly what's going on. The big problem for Curious is that he actually delayed his pool as well. He got the gas before pool, delayed it a little bit more, and this is going to be trouble. Yeah, we'll see how well he can defend here. Uh, I'm not so sure this is going to work out for him. Well, the thing is that Symbol is not super all in here. Symbol is attacking and he's trying to do damage, but he is still trying to get a base behind this. So he's still going for an expansion. He scouts everything that is going on. It's just annoying his opponent with the few of the Zerglings, trying to delay the mining time for as long as possible. While Hooligan, Cartoon, Thingy. Cell phone Afro guy comes on the scene. <laughs> Cell phone Afro guy with a. Yeah, is spraying the screen again. But this base is going down. Yeah, and he's got his own hatchery coming up behind this. The one little little uh, tool that Symbol. Uh, or rather, that Curious has against Symbol is that gas that he's mining right now. But he barely mined any. He only got eight gas, actually. So. And not only that, he's actually going to find himself still under fire by these lings for quite some time. He doesn't have enough lings out. And 
This is looking disastrous, in fact. While his own lings are out right now, it's more about the t mining time that is lost here. Keep in mind that also Curious started off with a few more harvests than his opponent, so the harvest account is very much the same at this point. The earlier hatch for Symbol, that is going to be the important part. And also, actually, the Zerglings going in right now, taking down a lot of the lings of his opponent, and now trying to kill maybe another drone or two. It's a really nice job here by Symbol so far. But overall, of course he has a lead, but it's not like he's going to win the game right now. Yeah. And resources lost, 500 lost for Curious versus about 300 for uh, Symbol. So he definitely, in resources lost has a better trade. That speed that Curious has out very early could pose a problem if he doesn't wall his ramp with Queens. That's yeah. something we definitely have to consider. So the base was killed. Uh, the natural of Curious was taken out. But at the same time, Curious was already in a position where he had a lot more harvesters than his opponent. He had the earlier gas. So Sumo was kind of making up for the advantage that his opponent had with him sacrificing a lot of early economy since he wanted to have those Zerklings out to pressure his opponent. He'd still got the better trade and he's now ahead in economy, but also he has to be very careful because Curious is now in a position where he has speed and Symbol doesn't, which means that Curious is the one who can always force an engagement if he wants to. So all the Zerklings on the map for Symbol have to be careful. He can only attack if he knows that he has the superior numbers. He's trying to sneak something by here, but can he defend at home? I, you know, I, I really worry about that because he only has two queens and a spine. Your second spine is started as he realizes what's going on, but. It's a bit too late, and I think he will definitely be able to break through here if he commits. Not enough energy for transfuse yet. Well, here we go, but the hatch has to be cancelled once again. The counter aggression is going on, another queen now popping out, and this hatch has to be cancelled. The question is how much can those Zerglings at the bottom do? He needs to make sure that the Zerglings are still being shielded by the queens. Another queen is moving in, and he will be able to defend here. Yeah. He's going to have a transfuse wow. in just a second. The wings come out, the hatchery oh, is cancelled, no, and it symbol. Wasn't. He didn't cancel. He didn't cancel. Symbol is playing like a god right now, and Curious is in trouble. He's potentially going to lose a queen here. He's definitely going to lose one of them. Yep, one goes down. That wow. is awesome for Symbol. Symbol is on two bases, has the spine crawlers, the extra queens, is getting another spine crawler right now. Was able to kill the hatch of his opponent twice, and this is devastating uh, for Curious here, especially with the additional spine crawlers coming into play. Yeah, I mean, what does Curious try to do here? I mean,. He could try to add a lair and go into that, but attacking directly more with this many queens and the spine crawlers going up, not going to be the right choice for him, but nice. Gets on the ramp, and all he has to do now is make sure he transfuses, and this is going to be an easy hold here. Yeah, the spine crawler already done on the high ground, and here we go, more Zerglings coming in. One queen is down, but so many Zerglings already lost. The double, the second base doesn't come into play when, it, when we are talking about mining, but it is the lava that counts here, and with all the queens that he has, well, he's losing another one. Yeah, this is a bit sloppy to move the spine crawler that early. That was a little bit overzealous. He could have saved the second queen. And Curious is still attacking, and now suddenly there is a bit of a hole at the ramp. Yeah, and uh, I mean, just look at the supplies here. He's got a lot more Zerglings, and he's trying to break through. The spine crawler here finishing on the low ground, helping him out quite a bit, and it looks like he may barely break through here. The queen is exposed. Harvest supply is very similar, so the economy of Curious is still decent as soon as he gets that hatch up. And that is becoming a problem. So now suddenly the Zerglings for Symbol spawn and he can force Curious back. But Curious is now the one who also has a Baneling Nest and he is still getting his own units out. And Symbol does not have Queens oh. anymore at all. He has no Larva Injects and he moves the Spine at the worst possible moment. My apologies, Symbol is the one with the Baneling Nest. Curious just started his own. Curious is in trouble here. He's going to need those Banelings to defend. Or, yeah, so sorry. Uh, and... The drone's here starting to, to take some hits. He doesn't kill any of them, he just puts them low. Now he targets very nicely down to the last of his lings. And Curious, now ahead in this game. Really impressive to see what he was able to do here. With constant aggression, he actually forces Symbol to uh, play a very passive game. And that in itself was not a big problem. At the beginning, Symbol was able to hold very well against all of this. But now suddenly Curious is the one who turns things around. He has a lot more harvester supply than his opponent. Yeah. It's more than doubling it. And it's amazing if you think about how this game started. Yeah, I think uh, Symbol is going to need a miracle to actually win this game because he doesn't have enough harvesters. He lost his queens, which he only replenished one of those by now, so he has a larva problem. And how much damage is this counterattack really going to do with the queen and the spine ready to go? He has to do a lot. And oh my god, those were great bailing hits, taking down the spine crawler, a lot of the opponent's bailings as well. But he doesn't have a lot that he can do damage with, and that's an issue. The queen can just simply snipe the bailing. The only thing that he has to do right now. And Curious has such a great lead in this game now. He was able to come back into this match and completely turn things around here. 
Yeah. Moving that spine to the ramp instead of just leaving it there was one one first step for Curious to get back in this game. He was able to kill that queen, and things are looking worse all the time now for Symbol, who's desperately trying to drone up, but Curious is droning up even harder. He's got enough units to defend any aggression. He starts his lair now, and you know he's he's trying to make something work in the middle of the map, but he can't even control the map. Symbol, you know, he had that extra base, but he could never mine from it. And then it, this is in itself, it's not really a big issue if you just get the drones and you just push forward, secure the base, and then move in. He played a really good game, but then suddenly he slacked a little bit with his defense, and suddenly the Zerglings break through, do so much damage, and as soon as Curious had his own base up, everything just kind of slid out of control. It snowballed, and now Curious is the one who goes into Lair, he's the one who gets his extra gas, still ahead in the Harvest account, and massive supply lead. I'm really impressed how well Curious played here to, come, to be able to come back. Yeah. Simple, of course, with a few mistakes, but exploiting these mistakes is so difficult in uh, the mirror matchup. You're so right. I, I'm very impressed with Curious here. I, I wonder now what Symbol's plan is going to be because he's only droning right now. He doesn't have Lair. He hasn't even started. Spire's already on the way for his opponent. And, you know, he's... He's in, a, in between a rock and a hard place here. He can't attack. And he can't drone up too heavily or try to tech because oh. he's in a tough spot. And he is actually going for a road run. He's trying to push in with the timing before Mutalis can take him out. It could work, especially since there's a lot of banes for defense. But I mean, I, I just don't. It's too late. Was that road run spotted? Uh, could, I don't think so. Double check. Check that. Because he makes the. This is the perfect response. Getting this many spine crawlers. He didn't the, see it. The banelings are actually great in this scenario. You need a couple of banelings to do the burst damage at the beginning, and then the spine crawlers and the zerglings uh, deal with the rest. And this is like the perfect thing for Curious to do. With all those extra spine crawlers, the banelings at the front, and his mid attack, he should be golden against this aggression. And he even now sees, he it. sees it. And he's just playing super safe here. 11 roaches on the way. But they're too late, and he's already been spotted, like you said. And even before being spotted, he was playing the safe. He's not getting any additional spine crawls, he's just relying on the Mutalists now. Mutalists alone will never be able to take down too many roaches, just because of the armor. But if you have the Mutalists and everything else, then you don't have anything to worry about. Even that third base here. The third base is something that Simbo might attack, but if he does, he's only gonna lose time. Yeah, exactly. If he kills a third base, then Curious is totally okay with that. In fact, he might even be happy with it, depending on how many roaches he can squeeze out here. Nine Mutas on the way. And they're going to go to town. The Mutalists will attack the roads right away. Even a counter-aggression number coming in. And that alone is already occupying a symbol here quite a bit. Bailey's moving in. Good hits. But here come the Mutalists. And he's like, well, that's GG. it. Game over. Startail has taken out Symbol. They took a risk putting Curious out here, but he played well for them. Yeah, he, they took a risk. They definitely did. If Curious goes down here, then they are in a horrible position, but it paid off. Curious came through for the team. Was very well done. And Azubu has two players left. Yep, both teams down to two lives here. And it's Startail who now has the edge. Symbol played a great game, but Curious really just threw him off there with that continued aggression. And it was well played by Curious. Really impressive comeback yeah. there. Simul simply thought he was safe when he wasn't. He lost the Queens and uh, therefore he lost his ability to inject. When he moved that Spine Crawler, he didn't have really a, a good chance here to do anything uh, against the second wave that came in. So he lost too much, lost too many of the Queens. He was behind in the game, but Simul just thought himself to be safe enough to do all these things and it turned out that that was not the case. Great comeback by Curious, really well played. Yeah. Well, whoever it's going to be coming out next, <laughs> yeah, that's the Supernova Yawn. Supernova is always tired. Like, I've never seen him once in the studio where he was playing, where he was not at least yawning half the time. So whoever's coming out next, we don't know who it's going to be, but I can tell you that the map is going to be Fruitland TL. I, I love Fruitland. I, I still I love the map. haven't seen it in action yet. I've looked at it a lot. Like, I've looked at it really closely. Um, I actually personally don't like fruit. Um, the problem is every single time I cast fruit, and I'm becoming hungry. I'm always like hungry, and I look at it, and there's like everything, and I'm like, oh, it's like a fruit slices. salad right now. Fruit, fruit salad that would be really good. 
So the lemon slices on Fruitland will return 500 minerals per trip. You have to return them with the harvester, though. You can't just go grab them. You can't just touch them. As far as I understand, you actually have to grab them and take them back to the base. So if the harvester dies, you lose the money. So we have a few new elements here, but just the setup of the map in general is something that I, I really like. So you can see that this season, I mean, with Heaven Day as well, we have a couple of maps that are not all that serious. Well, no. well, I mean, I just like a mix. they have some extra mechanics. Uh, you know, Heaven Day played out okay uh, when we yeah. saw it play. I, 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 I'm not ju passing judgment yet, but it was it was okay. It felt better than Guangali, at least uh, from the start here. Oh, all right, but that's not really an accomplishment. Guangali is horrible. Like, it, I, there's not a single player who likes Guangali. Yeah, well, that map was... Uh, was there's been some fail maps in yeah. the past. It was one of them. What I like a little bit more about Heaven Day already, without even knowing the map too well uh, compared to Guangali, is that at least you don't have all these sun benches where, that are blocking everything, so you can just walk at the beach and you have a very clear line where you can uh, where you can move your user. And Patience comes out here, so we will see him play. Okay, wait a second. If that's Patience, then the guy sitting at the bottom is not Patience. He could have moved positions. Okay, we were told earlier that the guy who we thought is Mad Bull would be Patience, but that is obviously not the case, because that's a different guy. Well, anyway, as it is, Patience is going to be our Protoss here. We'll see if he plays anything like Mad Bull. Uh, choosing Fruitland here is, is so interesting to me. I'm really excited to see how this is going to play out. Getting extra minerals as a Protoss player from Lemon Slices, for example, can give you a lot of extra Zealot Warp Ends, a lot of cannons you can put down. In the case of Mutalis, for example, on this map, as a Zerg, though, I feel like the minerals would be even better. It's so easy to make extra spines, especially if we go late game. So I'm, I'm ready for this. I'm ready to see Fruitland. I really want to know who the guy in the dark shirt on the Azubu bench is. It's driving me crazy. It's really driving me insane. He looks a lot like Mad Bull, but a lot of people were saying, like, no, Mad Bull is definitely not on a Team Azubu. But it's like, it's really driving me insane. Who is that? I don't know who he is, but I think he's not Mad Bull. Most of the other players, we know who they are, so we can talk about that. But if anyone knows out there, then please let uh, let us know, because we weren't informed. I have no idea who that is, and I would love to know who's sitting on that bench. So, uh, this is the only guy in the black shirt, except, well, actually, no, except for the coach. Sleep also has a black hoodie. Okay, we know who Sleep is. He's the, he's the mystery man The guy man sitting, in sitting in the first row, glasses, black shirt. Who's not Sleep? Sleep sitting in the first row? Yeah, he's there. So he's Sleep got the doesn't have glasses. He doesn't have glasses. Earlier he wasn't wearing a hoodie. So yeah, he really wasn't wearing a hoodie. See, it's it's tricky, uh, the mystery man. Like, let's play Guess Who. I'm like, does he have glasses? I like put all the players' <laughs> names down. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, I'm really curious at this point. Like, I really want to know. Um, but still, we have now Fruitland coming up, which is going to be uh, actually like a little bit of... It, this is a very, very crucial point in the, in the match, because if you lose, you are down to the last player. We kind of know already who that's going to be for Star Tail. It would be very surprising to not see Bomber come out as the last man standing. On the other hand, for Azubu, I don't know, who would you think comes out next? I would probably... I feel it depends a little bit on the race. If it's a Terran, if we see Bomber, then most likely it's going to be Sleep since he prepared for a lot of Terran players in his last match. I could see Supernova as well, but I feel that's a choice that Azubu has not made yet. Yeah, um, we'll have to see what they, they want to do later. I, I'm really curious to see how good this Patience guy is because we've, we've talked a lot about him, we've heard a lot about him. Uh, he's, he was on the Prime roster, he never really came out, so he's a new guy on a new map. This game is going to be pretty crazy and exciting for that reason. And if he tends to fall here, then I think you go Supernova as the last player. That's what I would do. Curious is not somebody to mess with, and his Zerg versus Protoss, it's not a, a matchup where if you look at statistics, he looks insanely good at, but in the past, especially in Wings of Liberty, he has shown some crazy patient styles. The last game alone, so many players would have thrown in the towel. Especially when the third base was taken out for the second time, uh, sorry, the, the natural was taken out for the second time. That was one of those things where you were like, okay, this is the last blow, this is, he's down. But he didn't give up, and for good reason, he was able to come back into the match and he took it. Yep, really, really patient play, that's what Curious is known for. Always keeping his emotions in check in the booth, calling the Stone Cold Killer for that. He never smiles or frowns, he just sits in the booth and takes people out one after another. Can Patience, our new Protoss base here for the Team Azubu, change that though on Fruitland? 
Going into the game right now, Protoss versus Zerg. Another PVZ, this time Curious, up against Patience. Yet the GSTL Season 2 2013, brought to you by Colin Wolf.